What's the worst that can happen? I I say I always should start, stop starting these videos off like that, but it's probably never going to happen. I might open these up, by the way. Absolutely heck no. Let's open this up real fast just to get a lay of the land on how today is going to go. Okay? This is a lay of the land pack. So, this might be good. This might be bad. Okay. That's pretty trash. Good to know. EA Sports is being honest for the first time in their career. It's going to be a pretty trash pack opening. Potentially. We'll see. Alright, let's open up the other one as well. Just for craps and giggles. I have still yet to pull a golden ticket. I mean, I like to joke and say that the Madden 25 pre-order bonus golden ticket was a pull, but... That really wasn't an actual golden ticket pool. So, I am still trying to pull a golden ticket. So, let's just... Let's just go for it, man. You know, guns are blazing. I'm going to quick sell this Marshall Falk. And let's just see. I... I have faith that EA Sports did not increase the odds of these cards... Just based on this, you know, golden tickets coming out. But, hey, who knows? I also love the fact that they no longer actually put, like, the ch the thing in the banner saying that these are in packs anymore. They don't do that anymore. They used to always do that and be like, do not open up packs unless they say they're in, unless they're on the banner. But they don't do that and they're in packs right now. I know that for a fact. So, EA just does not care anymore. I think EA Sports has found their method of stop caring, and it's this late in Madden. Let's be honest. They stopped, they stopped caring back in, like, January, okay? January was when I think they stopped caring. They still can release promos and still release stuff to make money. That's not really them caring, because some of these promos they've released, they put little to no effort into them. But when it comes to caring, I think they stopped in January. Back to back get the gold player packs. Bro, you cannot make this crap up. Back to back get a gold player packs. Back to back gold players. <sighs> okay. This is going to be diabolical if this is the three peat. Okay, it was not a three peat. I thought it was going to be a three peat right there. I mean, it doesn't really matter because these packs are absolutely garbage anyway. But at least it wasn't a three-peat, man. That's all I gotta be happy about, I guess, is the fact it wasn't a three-peat. These packs are so freaking trash. Like, it's almost comical at this point how bad these packs are. Man, EA Sports. Why bring... No, I know why you want them back, but like... I wish they didn't, man. Just give us training priority packs. Like, you know what we want. That's the thing that ticks me off so bad from EA. Is everyone. Everyone and their mother. And I'm thinking about actual mothers. Zach Wilson Milfs. Like, are screaming for the mountaintops. Give us TVP packs back. And EA Sports is like, well, eh, we're good. We don't feel like it. It's like that SpongeBob episode when he's like, He's a robot, and he's like, I don't feel like it right now. That's how EA Sports is acting right now. They're acting like a SpongeBob robot. I don't feel like it right now. <sighs> Come on. Weekly wild card. Just keep it rocking. Keep it rolling. Let's get something and get nothing. <sighs> I hate, 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 hate these packs. All right. Well, for obvious reasons, do not open up these packs. <laughs> if it wasn't already very clear and obvious right there, do not open up those packs. And now let's see what these Star Elite packs look like. The sad part is they're better than the training packs. <laughs> they are still trash as well, but they're better than the training packs. And that's the sad part, man. That's the absolute sad part. Yeah, guys, how much do these go for? Like, how much do the golden tickets even go for? 
because I'm going to guess Bo Jackson, right outside the linebacker, Bo is going to be 3 million coins. 100%. Bo Jackson, 3 milli. Um, let's see. Justin Jefferson might be around a milli plus 1.5. Um, where is... Is it right? Yeah, right outside the linebacker, Bo. He's 1.31? That is so freaking cheap. I mean, listen, this was not a good golden ticket release this uh, this weekend here. But I'm kind of surprised by that. Jay Jettis was 1.9. Okay. Um, who else came out? Was there anyone else that was actually good? I know there was one other out of position card. It was Jesse Bates and Vita Vea. Okay. So Jesse Bates is 1.2 and Vita Vea probably the most expensive because usually one of these is always the most expensive. No, 1.24. Wow. Okay, so none of these guys really is that expensive. It's kind of surprising to me. But, alright. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.